Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the shipping settings in your Magento site. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to system and then configuration. This is where the shipping settings are for your store. So under configuration there's a um, right down here under sales there's shipping settings and shipping methods. First we're going to check out shipping settings. Shipping settings basically just uh, sets up where your store stuff is. So the origin is going to be where your store is located. Um, I'm located in Michigan, so we'll just say Michigan. I'm just going to use a fake zip code here. I'm just going to say Ann Arbor. And okay, yeah, so you get the idea. This is your origin and the options. Um, and if you want to allow to ship to multiple addresses, to me, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun as somebody owning a store. However, if your company is allowed to ship to multiple addresses in one order, um, you want to select that to be yes. So I'm going to select that to be no because I personally don't uh, don't want that for my store. Okay, so I'll save this. And then next we're going to go to down here. We're going to go to shipping methods. And here I'm going to show you how to do table rate shipping. If you see, we have all these options. We have flat rate, table rates, free shipping, UPS, USPS, FedEx, uh, DHL. Um, so the only ones I'm going to go over, I'll go over flat rate, table rates in this video, and then free shipping. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up UPS. USPS and FedEx and DHL are all pretty similar, but you have to have an account there. I don't have an account, so I'm not going to have to get into that but it's pretty self-explanatory um, after you see how these other ones are set up. Okay, so flat rate is exactly how you'd expect it. And they, if it's enabled, it's just going to, the title will be flat rate. This is whatever your client will see when they're checking out. In fact, let's actually um, throw something in the cart here and let's actually check out with something, proceed to check out. And I don't know if it's gonna let me, yeah, it's not gonna, I'll check it out as a guest and Okay, I'm going to ship to this address. If you just like to ship to different address, it's going to uh, let you fill in another address. So basically, because the only one we have enabled right now, it says flat rate fixed. It's at $5. Come in here, fixed, flat rate, $5. If you wanted to change that, as you can see, those words uh, are the exact same as here. If you were to change this, just standard shipping or just to say shipping, uh, method name shipping, whatever, and then you change the price, then that would be reflected here in your checkout. You can also have a handling fee to be added on as well. However, you might as well just put it in shipping. Um, and then you could have your own displayed error message, let's say if it's not working. Um, for allowed countries, um, let's say you're only shipping to the United States, you could say specific countries, and then you could come down here and uh, United States, or if you're only shipping the UK, UK. So. Um, if you don't want to ship the entire world, uh, which you might not want to, I would go in here and check this. You can hold option and select other ones. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that that's all correct. And then show method if not applicable. No, you probably won't because why would you want somebody to select it if it's not applicable? And if you had multiple different shipping types available, you could you have a sort order here to see which one is the most important, which one should be at the top of the list. So this is flat rate. It's just going to apply a flat rate. Every single person that buys something from your store will get it to be the same price. Alternatively, we have free shipping, which is free. Um, right now it's not enabled. Um, if we enable it, uh, another option here will be free shipping. You could choose between it and it's going to uh, charge the person nothing. So maybe you're having a special or something you want to put on free shipping, then go right ahead, choose free shipping, and that will uh, give your clients free shipping. If you go to table rates here, you're going to see some stuff. It says weight versus destination, price versus destination, um, all this stuff, but no actual table. You might be wondering how you can actually set the table rates. So we're going to say, um, let's see, number of items versus destination, because we want to say they, well, never mind, we'll do price versus destination. If they spend up to $50, they'll get a certain uh, shipping price. If they spend up $50 to $100, they'll get another certain shipping price. But, um, how, how can we actually see what that table rate is? Well, we're, the first thing we have to do, I just saved this so it wasn't gonna lose any of these other settings, um, is we wanna go to this default config here. If we change this to our main website, you now see this export CSV. So if I export this, what it's gonna do is it's going to download this, um, this CSV file and um, let me open it in a Google Doc. Um, that way 
you can exactly see as a uh, spreadsheet what it would look like. Okay, so now you can see that the spreadsheet that I created, the CSV, is uh, country, region, state, postal zip, uh, order subtotal, and shipping price. What's really cool here is you can say that uh, because we're doing um, subtotal verse uh, location, you could say um, whatever the code here is for United States, let's say we're only shipping to United States here, you would just say USA and then region state, uh, since we're not going to care about region state, it's going to be the same for all of them. And then again for uh, zip and postal code, I'm putting asterisks in here, and this is sort of wild card, it can mean anything. And then so we're going to say if uh, your order is anywhere from $0 to $20, the shipping price will just be $5. And then here we can have a second line. I'm just going to copy and paste. Oops. I'm just going to copy and paste all of this stuff onto a couple more lines here. And so now we can say if you're, um, so let's say uh, the other one is from 0 to 1999, that will give you $5. If it's $20 to $50, it's going to be something else. And if it's um, just over $50 to just under $100, it's going to be $20, um, 15 and 10 Okay, so now let's say the, the person spent um, $1,000 in your store, the shipping price would be $20. So you're going to want this to go up as much as you uh, could account for somebody buying. So this is a nice way to do it if you don't want to have anything super um, complex or anything. Table rate shipping is nice and easy. You can just have uh, a table rate set up and depending on what kind of items you're selling, if they're all pretty and very similar, this might be the way for you to go. So the next thing you would need to do would be to save your CSV as it is here and then um, just like we uh, exported this, if you choose this import, choose file, you can upload your table rate shipping. And then the rest of the things are pretty much the same as the flat rate. You can change the title. Um, let's say if we go back to our default configuration, you can change the title, all this stuff. Um, we can even say that, you know, selected countries in the short sort order, handling fee. So it's pretty much the same other than you can upload this uh, CSV file to dictate sort of price or location versus destination. Okay, well that's it for setting table rate, flat rate, and free shipping. In the next lesson I'm going to show you to set up UPS.